So in case you missed it, yesterday Bethesda released an issue of Inside the Vault right off the back of Patch 9, and they didn't hold back in letting us know that Patch 9.5 has been added to the Wild Appalachia lineup in order to bring a new repeatable quest called Project Paradise. There are no further details regarding the concept behind Project Paradise, however, we've got some good information regarding the legendary purveyor. Uh, Purveyor Mermga, I, I, I think her name is, I'm probably brutalizing that anyway. We got a new detailed look at the interface that we'll be seeing when we visit the Purveyor at Berkeley Springs train station. We can see and confirm from much speculation that the purchasing system will be that of a gamble. As you can see, we can in fact select the tier of the legendary item we're interested in, be it one, two or three stars, and it goes across the board when it comes to armor and weapons as a whole. Interestingly enough, a list of items have been discovered through data mining. I shall leave the link in the description down below for your own analysis, but it shows a more detailed look into what exactly lies behind the counter of the purveyor. One item that interested me was, I guess, something that is associated with Mumga's Mystery Pack, or Mumga's Mystery Pack, however you pronounce that. I saw an item listed called Goodie Bag Aid, which would be pretty convenient out on the wasteland to be gifted like a huge bundle of stim packs, radaways, purified water, or various buffs that you may require on your journey across the wasteland. Bethesda go on further in their update of Inside the Vault by saying, if you're a seasoned wasteland explorer, your run-ins with the hooded figures known as mole miners have probably been less than pleasant experiences. The purveyor, however, will be the first of her kind to breach the surface of Appalachia in order to sell weapons and armor to dwellers from her vast stockpile of legendary items. Previously, we had announced that the purveyor would arrive on May 23rd, but as it turns out, mole miners are exceptionally fast diggers. She's going to arrive a week earlier than expected and is now looking to kick off her grand opening on Thursday, May 16th. The purveyor is no ordinary vendor. She only deals in legendary items and only accepts a unique currency called Legendary Script as payment. You can use the exchange machines that appeared at train stations earlier this week to break down legendary items that were collecting dust in your stash into Legendary Script. Once you've lined your pockets with some script, travel to the previously abandoned trade station in Berkeley Springs and find the purveyor within. The purveyor has a vast collection of legendary items at her disposal and will allow you to choose whether you'd like to buy armor, melee weapons or ranged weapons. You will also be able to pick up whether your item will have one, two or three legendary attributes. However, she doesn't allow buyers to haggle over the exact details of an item and instead will select its legendary attributes at the same time of purchase. This means that while you will always receive an item that fits the type of star rating you've selected, its attributes will be decided at random. Additionally, legendary script prices vary based on the type of item and star rating you select. Don't worry if you haven't had a chance to visit the legendary exchange machines just yet because they're not going anywhere. Use them whenever you've collected legendary items that you don't want to keep and then visit the purveyor anytime after May 16th to add new gear to your collection. Speaking of future updates, we're adding patch 9.5 to our Wild Appalachia lineup in order to bring a new repeatable event to the game called Project Paradise and to fix a few more bugs. We're currently planning to release this update on May 21st and we will have more details about the new event in next week's Inside the Vault. However, patch 9.5 will not include camp display cases. We're still working to ensure this feature will provide the best experience possible once we bring it into the game with a future update. It looks like the content's coming thick and fast for Fallout 76, and since the last patch, it sounds like it's won a lot of old fans back to the game too. Like I said, the data mine details can be found in the description down below, and I hope this video has provided you with some information you may not have already known. Right, it's time for myself to crawl out into the wasteland and finish off getting my badges with the Pioneer Scouts. Until next time.